Hello, right, I'm at the 3D printing show called TCT, which stands for Time Compression Technology. So there's 3D printing and other types of rapid prototyping. And we're here for two days and I'm exhibiting with 3D filler print. And here's our stand just here. I've got the end of the stand with my own banner here that says X Robots and some pictures of a Lulzbot Mini and some CAD for my R6 droid, which is also here. Printed with 3D filler print filament. Printed with Lulzbot 3D printers. Electronics from Adafruit. I've also got my Lulzbot Mini, which is just starting a piece of a lightsaber. And Mr. Fusion. It gets pretty busy in here when it gets going. We've got some of the biggest names in 3D printing at the show, including. That's Ultimaker. All of my droid was designed in Autodesk 123D design. We've got Stratasys here with quite a big stand and a tagline, Redefine Possible. Which is probably because the patents expired on 3D printing and now other companies can do it and this whole show can exist without them being sued. These guys are quite hidden away in the corner where no one can see them. I'm here with Tim from 3D Filler Prints. So we've got some interactive things on the booth today to get the public involved. So Tim, can you tell us a bit about what we've got? Okay, cool. We have um, three machines that have been owned, designed on OpenSCAD and then 3D printed on homemade 3D printers. The first one we have is the Bagatelle. Now this is the 17th century Bagatelle recreation on a 3D printer. Now everything on here, apart from the little balls, everything is 3D printed. So what used to be metal pins are now printed with a fabidashery bling. The rest of this, all the greens, is printed, been printed with a rep wrapper. £16.95 a spool filament. All right. The spring. This is a printed spring by using a standard, uh, what's known as a PLA wood colour. Once again, £16.95 a spool. This, the colourings, the, the letterings and the, this, um, the numeric reader, this bit here is printed by Bronzeville by Colour Fab. So everything is 3D printed, a tiny little bit of Ninja Flex on a little bumper. Okay, so, so you have to score a certain score on this? You have to score 100. Wow, that works really well. 100 plus. And as you can see, you get a lot of spring in the actual pins themselves just from a printed plastic. And everything has been designed by Tony here literally on open scan so you've got a free open source software you've got a free, free uh, you've got a, a 3d printer that's been owned designed and you can create something that is interactive and usable and fun at the end of the day this is in the office all day long we can't stop playing it so maybe that's a downside <laughs> so we have one thing which is a bagatelle and then what happened is that get over a hundred and you get a chance to use our little spin and wind wheel now the spin and win gives the opportunity for people to be able to try, try some of the unique exotic filaments. Some of the filaments that you won't normally find in every single shop or online okay. store that's available. So we've got, so we've got UV reactive. UV. If I just get a quick, I think we've got a UV, I think we've got a quick UV torch. Oh so wow, you can okay. see how, much, how quickly the UV changes. So it's good for raves. Cool, yeah, and absolutely. And we've got some other various things. Yep. And then HD you've got, glass. Yep. Poly pluses, a couple of ninjas, Filoflex, Recurus, a bit of colour fab from the boys, and uh, in fact, there's too many ninjas. Enviro, this is a new, a it's a new ABS, environmental ABS that biodegrades. Um, but and I think we've got too many ninjas. Hassan, when you finish doing the next test, could you? Yeah. Could you change some of these? New, it's like ninja promotion time on here, dude. And I wonder why. <laughs> Everything's ninja. Right, cool. So, another um, 3D printed um, uh, project that we have here is because when the PLA conducted by Proto Pasta first came to market, we wanted to see what we could create using a conductive material and how practical it actually is. So, this is printed, the actual uh, surround is printed out of a 3D um, the, the wood colour, the same as the spring that you have on the actual bagatelle. 
And then this actually worked by, you have the PLA conductive as the uh, connection wire, you have um, a PLA conductive with the hook, you have the little lily pad Arduino at the bottom. Right. And then you have just a little um, alarm. Uh, it's a water sensor, isn't it? It's a yes, water level sensor at the bottom. Well. Yep. So okay. it is literally, as long as you're not touching the wires, and then this little reset mechanism here or switch here is just literally from the conductive material. So you just wow, press so it down just to reset. So all the wires are conductive? Everything, yeah, it's just all from the PLA. Wow. Okay, so, no, you so how good are you at this one? Very bad. So you literally, uh, you've got a chance, because it's quite sensitive, we've given, them, we've given people to be able to get across right to left, um, five beats, but okay. uh, not one of us has done it yet, so hey. So it's literally, you try to get around without setting off that buzzer. We so get. this is the marble machine, which is very, interesting to watch actually <laughs> and it's particularly good when the marbles come off the end and do a little bounce here comes no, we have to wait for one to come around here they come there we go super so this is guess the filaments so it's made of 22 different filaments yep and you have to guess five and as, as we a lot of this is made, apart from the, this glow in the dark, the track, 12 foot track and the wheel that you see here, the rest of it is made from samples that you can buy from Global FSD. So right. if you wanted to test out a filament, you can buy the sample of 10 or 20 meters. Now, 22 different types of filament means that these Ninja Flex flags that you see here, that blue, that yellow, that orange, and the flag here makes up seven of the different filaments because seven different colours. All that is just Ninja Flex. However, you've got stainless steel. This is a stainless steel sign that's on there with the stainless steel PLA by Proto Pasta. The all the different types of woods. Now the, the fencing is based on Tony's own fencing at home on his farm, so hence why you get a crooked fence. So you've got several types of woods from filamentum, you've got cinnamon, you've got coconut, you've got the laywood, the original laywood by Kai Parthi. And then all these columns here, that's bamboo fill uh, from Colorfab. And then you've got these columns here that you see that look slightly rusted. They're made from the magnetic iron filament. Now that's also by Protopasta. Now several of these and right down in there there's a motor housing for the little motor right then if I can just point it down there that down there looks like a nice rustic piece of architecture but it is actually the um, PLA by uh, pro the magnetic iron PLA by Prototester so all of these bits are done with a sample so you can build something up little man on the putting up his bunting that's a yellow rep wrapper, uh, that's yellow ninja flex, and then the black is jacket the hat. That is conductive material. That was done by Functionize. It's just that the black is really black. And we didn't want to make it conductive for any other particular reason other than that. All right. Has anyone offered to buy that yet? No, not for sale. <laughs> oh, it's not. Is it, is it, are you emotionally attached? <laughs> sort of, yeah. I do a YouTube series. So, oh, yeah, oh, well, sure. I was going to say, can I just take a quick picture? Is that okay? Yeah, go for it. My son would love that. Okay. It's all printed on Lulzbot printers, so it's all in ABS. All in ABS. And it's all printed with 3D filler prints, filaments, and I'm over with them on uh, C9. I think you're going to start Right, I've just parked my droid up by the Matter Hackers stand, which is a Lulzbot reseller. So I'm here with Mara from Matter Hackers. So you tell us about Matter Control. Yes, so Matter Control is a free open source software. You can download it at mattercontrol.com. And what we're here at TCT demonstrating is our Matter 
matter control touch. So this is not a regular tablet. This tablet has been modified and hacked within an inch of its life to be able to run matter control and also have full use of the camera. So what you would do is when you get one, you have all of your settings preloaded. So you go ahead and you select your printer. So for you, you would select your Lulz box. Yeah, so this is this is software. So and this works with any three D printer. Yeah, pretty much. And you would select which model. So we're not actually connected to a printer right now, so I'm going to cancel out of that. But once you do that, all of your slice settings would automatically populate for your particular model. So you can collapse it into basic mode. If you're a beginner 3D printer like me, there's not a whole lot you can mess up in basic mode. But if you are an advanced printer, you go ahead and hit advanced. And it opens up so you can um, change the support material, you can mess with the infill, you can get into the G-code, and you have a cloud-based library, which you, if we were connected to the internet, you can download all of your models, organize them in your print queue for a great workflow. And then once you're connected to your printer, this would say print, and you hit print. So it's a very simple, easy interface. Once you're printing, you can set it up so that the camera is facing, not look at that, the camera is facing uh, the uh, print bed, and it will actually take pictures every two minutes, send them to your mobile device, and when you see that, if you see your print is failing, you'll actually be able to hit stop and remotely stop your print. That's in our next version, one, Matter Control 1.4, which will be out in about two weeks. So it, this already works with most G-code based printers, and in two weeks it'll also work with X3G printers like MakerBot and FlashForge Creator and a few others as well. Okay, super. So we've got one running just over here. Yeah, yeah so this one is actually running. This is the E3's new big box. All right. And then we also have this printer over here, which is the 3D Gents 1 printer. Yeah, it's pretty good, this, way. this is the bottom. And we just went ahead and put their settings into Matter Control, into the Matter Control Touch, and it went ahead and started printing. Princess Leia from? Um, it's going to be behind this flap here. Yay! Eventually, <laughs> through some optical illusion. Excellent. Don't know quite what. Uh, right. So we've got an audience. <laughs> So I'm with 3D Filiprint, mm -hmm. um, but I'm here as a customer of theirs. Okay. This is one of my projects that I made with their filament. But I do Seven. a YouTube series. Yeah. So you do a YouTube I series. See your YouTube. That's it. So I'm sponsored by Lulzbot, the and the electronics are from Adafruit. Just got my sponsorship messages <laughs> in. That's That's it, yeah. So I'm just here tearing up the dance floor. How long does it take? Um, about 400 hours of printing, and it's a YouTube series that's been every two weeks. And I'm on part 19. So about 40 weeks or so. We've got these sample shells here with lots of ships on, which all look like they're the same ship, but every one is slightly different. And if we pick one and look at the number on the bottom, that's 40. And we can look on this chart here and find out that 40 is thermo temperature purple pink, so it should change to pink if we give it some heat. On the other end of our booth, we have Ravathi from Avatar 3D. So can you tell us a bit about your consultancy, please? Hi, I'm Ravathi, the executive director of Avatar 3D. We have designed and manufactured a 3D printer named the Ingenium. This printer has been manufactured in the UK and can be accessible to those who want to learn more about 3D printing using a variety of thermoplastic materials. Um, if you want to know more about what Avatar has to offer, please visit website www.avatar.com. Avatar3D.UK. Thank you. Yeah, you can choose. I'll come back later. I'll come back. You can have. We ship. You buy. 